Hey students and parents, uh, in this video we're going to be talking about converting metric units of measurement, how we're going to be talking about length, capacity, as well as mass. Um, and basically, if you haven't watched the customary video, I would watch that first because we're going to be talking, we're building on those concepts here. So when converting metric units of measurement, whether it's mass, capacity, or length, it's going to be the same uh, generally as doing customary units. When we're looking at a larger unit to a smaller unit, or a smaller unit to a larger unit, the operations we do are going to be the same. So when we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we're going to multiply. And when going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we are going to divide. The reason we do that is because, think about this, if we had one kilogram, there's going to be a lot more milligrams in that kilogram. So we would have to get a larger number of milligrams by multiplying. In the same way, is if we had a lot of milligrams, we'd have to figure out how many uh, kilograms there were. There would be a, a one kilogram to many, many, many milligrams. So we'd be dividing to find that smaller number. Hopefully that's not confusing, but this hopefully is a, is a helpful tool. Um, what we have here are the pr uh, prefixes for metric units. This is kilo, hecto, deca, unit, or the base unit. So your meters, your grams, and your liters. And here is deci, centi, and milli. Now the great thing about this is that it is all by powers of 10 or by the place value system. So when we're talking about these numbers, one thing we can do is we can jump uh, our, our decimal down the line as many times as we're gonna go. So let's say we had three meters and we need to figure out how many millimeters, okay? Now, I know three meters, don't be confused because I know this is an M, but that's a milli, that's this guy, that's the prefix, okay? The meter is the base unit. So if we start at the base unit, how many jumps is it going to, well, which, first, which direction are we going to be going to get to meters? We're going to be jumping to the right. So if we look at our arrow, we're going to be multiplying. So we're going to multiply three times. Well, how many millimeters are in one meter? Well, I know that there are 1,000, but an even, even cooler, easier trick to do would be just see how many times, how many jumps it is from your base unit to millimeters, so or the milli uh, uh, prefix. So we're here once, twice, three times. So what we can really do is we can put a decimal where it originally is in three, make three jumps, and then we're at 3,000 millimeters. Or here we have, let me just try to draw it right here, three, the decimal, make it once, twice, three times, and fill those in with zeros. That gives us 3,000 millimeters. So let's try another example. If we have, let's just say, 2,800 milliliters, how many liters would that be? Okay, well, I look at my prefix. I know I'm going from millimeter or milliliters to my base unit. So I'm going from milli to base. Let's count once, twice, three times. Okay, we're going to move the decimal in the direction in the divi dividing direction, direction. So we need to make sure that we're writing our problem out exactly how we would, which is 2,800 divided by 1,000, or we once again can move the decimal three times to the left with the number of jumps that we had. So we can move it once, twice, three times. So we get an answer of 2.8 milliliter or 2.8 liters is the same as 2,800 milliliters. Let's do one final example here. We have 210 centimeters equals how many meters? Okay. Once again, don't be confused. This is not the same thing. I know I write them similarly, but this is milli prefix. We're looking at centi to the base unit of meters. So let's count the number of hops that is once, twice. Okay, in which direction? We're going to the left, and that it means we're going to divide. Okay, we're going to take our 210, and we're going to divide it by the number of centimeters that are in that base unit of meter. So we're going to divide it by 100, or it's two jumps, so we're going to divide by something with two zeros, moving the decimal twice in the left direction, and we're going to get 2.1 meters. Hopefully this video was some help. Um, if you still need some additional practice, there is a link down in the description uh, to some uh, other resources that can help you practice at home. All right, see you in the next video.